Durban's Elizabeth Snowden Theatre is currently abuzz with festivities as well as the Jack and the Beanstalk production graces its stage. This piece features some of the city's best uh, loved actors as they take uh, the audience on a magical adventure with toe-tapping songs, jokes and slapstick rom ro romance, fantastic sets and uh, costume, fan fantasy costumes rather. Now to entice us more, let's now speak to two of the play's cast members, uh, all the way from Durban, Blessing Abba and Brian House. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Welcome to Morning Live. Uh, Blessing, let me start with you. I mean, talk to us about the production. What is it about? Uh, good morning, Lebo. Thanks so much for having us. Uh, so this year, Kickstarter's Tech Month, Jack and the Beanstalk, which was last seen in Durban like over a decade ago. It's the classic story of Jack who stumbles upon some beans, plants them, and ends up in a magical world in the sky. Uh, it's beautifully, beautifully told by our company, but it's just like 90% mayhem and 10% joy. <laughs> so much fun to be part of. Yeah. I mean, uh, Brian, uh, let me bring you into this conversation. I mean, Jack and the Beanstalk has returned by popular demand. Have you tweaked uh, it a little bit? Are you treating the audience to the same production that they know and love? It is the same production, but yes, obviously we have tweaked it because, because we did it nine years ago. Yeah. And a lot has changed uh, in the world around us since then. So being a panto, we like to try and be up to date with current news, current political news, current trends. So all those fun little quips are thrown in that, that bring us up to date. Mm -hmm. And now, Blessing, I mean, let's talk about your character. I mean, you step into the dame's high heels to play Jack's long-suffering mother. Tell us more about this. <laughs> so much fun playing the dame. I think it's my third time being cast as one. It's just being one of the craziest elements on stage. My favorite part about being a dame is you get to sort of crisscross through the entire story and interact with every character in your own special way. And you're ridiculous from the start. So it's like, it's a jaw from the first scene. My feet are killing me. <laughs> 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 Brian, I imagine you are not in heels. I mean, you play Sissel uh, in this. Uh, talk to us about it. Yeah, so my character doesn't come into the original story of Jack and the Beanstalk. My character is one of two. There is Cecil and Claw. They are the two hapless robbers that go about trying to steal the cow and then getting in touch with a wicked old witch who gives them some magic beans and then they swap the beans with a cow and they just do everything wrong. They just, yeah, everything they do is just a mess. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but it's great fun. My character himself, he's not bright. In fact, he's very stupid, um, but just lovable. Mm -hmm. I mean, also talk to us about preparing for this role. I mean, what, what did that entail? Well, if I talk about Cecil, Cecil and Claude were born, oh, many years ago in, <laughs> in a different panto. And they became such a hit, those two characters, that they were brought back for Jack and the Beanstalk. So it's something that had, that had happened a very long time ago. And it was so much fun to say or to think, I'm going to be stepping back into those ridiculous shoes, <laughs> which, which do mean I, I bend myself into a sort of S shape, hurt my back, push my jaw out forward, and do everything in a really squeaky voice. <laughs> 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 and I mean, uh, I imagine blessing for you as well. Preparing for this role is different as well to any other role because just the nature of pantos. Absolutely. Panto is a very, very precise art form that just takes getting in tune with all of those comic beats. There are like 10 different comic arcs happening at the same time. So you've really got to learn your track, when to hit your energy, when to hold back and receive and catch and throw back. So it really is, by the time you watch it, it just looks like this well-organized chaos, but putting it together, especially in the time frame that we've done this one in, is like, ooh, it's an amazing experience. And, and 
a very different challenge for actors. I don't think every actor would be able to do this. Yeah. So now you, you've been performing since the 8th. What's been the response from uh, the Durban audience? We have had an incredible response. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing mostly morning shows for now with schools audiences and it's been a, an absolute riot they have laughed they have screamed they have sung along they have got up danced in their seats and it's been it's been an incredible response and so lovely to have audiences back in a space in a theater space all right. Uh, thank you so much, gentlemen. Good luck with the rest of the run. Uh, that's uh, two cast members from the acclaimed play Jack and the Beanstalk, uh, Blessing Aba and Brian Hiles. That's uh, currently taking place at the Elizabeth uh, Sneder Theatre until the 15th of December. If you're there in KZN, please uh, check it out.